test cross it is a cross of f1 hybrid with the homozygous recessive parent so i repeat test cross means the cross of f1 hybrid with the homozygous recessive parent let consider the height of a plant when homozygous tall plant is cross with homozygous dwarf plant crossing means we take the pollen grains of a flower of a tall plant and transfer it on the stigma of the flower of a dwarf plant or vice versa in case of homozygous tall plant genotype will be capital t capital t and for homozygous dwarf plant genotype will be small t small t gamete formation here will be capital t here small t and the f1 hybrid will be capital t small t so this is f1 hybrid as per test cross this f1 hybrid is cross with homozygous recessive parent so in this two cases homozygous tall plant and homozygous dwarf plant the homozygous recessive parent is small t small t so now we got the content for test cross that is capital t small t cross with small t small t capital t small t is f1 hybrid small t small t is homozygous recessive parent with reference to height here there will be two types of gamete capital t small t and here will be small t small t let's do the crossing by checkers board method this will be male that is capital t small t and here will be female that is small t small t on crossing we get here capital t small t then small t small t over here capital t small t and small t small t out of four plants two plants are tall and two plants are dwarf ratio is 2 is to 2 that is 1 is to 1 in test cross with reference to height 50 percent plants will be tall and 50 percent plants will be dwarf so please note in test cross consider any pair of contrasting character it can be position of flower color of flower height of a plant 50 percent plants will be showing dominant character and 50 percent plants will be showing recessive character significance to find a known genotype to test whether an individual is homozygous pure or heterozygous hybrid Test cross can be used to find out genotype of any plant with dominant expression. For example, a pea plant having violet purple color flower is cross with a pea plant with white color flower. Now here, violet color that is purple color is dominant. We doesn't know whether it is homozygous. It contains capital R, capital R or heterozygous, capital R, small r. That we doesn't know. It is violet in color, but we doesn't know the genotype. It is unknown. So, it is crossed with white color flower. Now, you know white color flower. It is recessive character. It contains small r, small r. So, let's consider here. So this flower violet purple color is a dominant phenotype but genotype is unknown we doesn't know whether it contains capital R capital R that is homozygous or it contains capital R small r heterozygous so let's see first case it is crossed with white color flower white color is homozygous recessive it contains small r small r now let's see the crossing so in all this you can see small r which is coming from homozygous recessive if all the flowers are violet means 
here will be capital R which comes from unknown genotype. So please note if all the flowers are violet means this capital R comes from unknown genotype. The violet flower will be homozygous capital R capital R. Let us see the second case. If this dominant phenotype is crossed with white color flower that is homozygous recessive small r small r. So first of all there will be small r all over if half of the flowers are violet. So this capital R will come from unknown genotype and half of the flowers are white. This small r will come from unknown genotype. So here will be capital R small r. So I repeat again if half of the flowers are violet this capital R come from unknown genotype and if half of the flowers are white this small r will come from unknown genotype. So here in first case if all the flowers are violet unknown flower is homozygous it contains capital R capital R and in second case if half of the flowers are violet and half of the flowers are white unknown flower is heterozygous. So this was all about test cross.